It's easy to believe in magic after watching these guys on screen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wizards in film. For this list, we've chosen those movie wizards who are most memorable and most powerful, whether they're good or evil. There is no good and evil. There is only power. Number 10, Merlin, the sword in the stone. The name is Merlin. <clears throat> And I happen to be the world's most powerful wizard. By far the most scatterbrained wizard on our list, this version of Merlin is one of the best. And, and that is what I call a wizard blizzard. Not one to use overly complex or powerful spells, Merlin often turns himself and his apprentice into different animals to teach life lessons. What did I tell you? Always look before you leap. He's old and cranky, and he nearly gets Arthur eaten a handful of times, but his love for the boy is apparent. Plus, he proves himself when he battles against the evil Madame Mim in A Wizard Off. Just a minute. No, 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 this is... No, 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 no. <laughs> Number nine, Mickey Mouse, Fantasia. Even though this movie was considered one of Disney's first critical and commercial flops, we won't forget Mickey as the sorcerer's apprentice anytime soon. He's just one part of the larger story, but Mickey's segment stands out. He tries to get out of doing chores by enchanting a broom. But the magic is too strong, and he ends up making a mess of the castle. However, this is one mess we'd watch over and over again. Number eight, the High Aldwin Willow. Attention! High Aldwin will now make his choice for his right. new It'll apprentice. Standing at a little less than four feet tall, it's easy to overlook the wizard Aldwin. But as Willow's mentor, this Nelwyn wizard proves that sage advice and a little confidence can go a long way. More than anyone in the village, you have the potential to be a great sorcerer. Now, when you're out there, listen to your own heart. He's the one that convinces Willow to embark on his quest and teaches him to trust his instincts. Alduin said it best when he stated that magic is the bloodstream of the universe a lesson Willow and viewers won't forget. You have much to learn, young of good. Number seven, Lord Voldemort, the Harry Potter franchise. <sighs> they never learn. Such a pity. Where would Harry Potter be without his nemesis? He who shall not be named is the embodiment of evil. He's absolutely terrifying, given his willingness to practice the dark arts. Plus, his appearance as an earthworm with a kind of face doesn't help either. But you gotta admit, there's something charismatic about the guy. I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. And it is kind of cool that he brought himself back from the dead. Learning his backstory as Tom Riddle throughout the series only makes him that much more complex. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Number six, the wizard, the Wizard of Oz. The great Oz has spoken. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great Oz has spoken. So he may not be a real wizard in terms of having any magical powers. You're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear, I, I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. But this guy has the showmanship and grandiose attitude of all the magicians in Vegas combined. I am Oz, the great and powerful. In a world where name is everything, this wizard has made sure everyone knows who he is and what he can supposedly do. But like the other wizards on our list, he's infinitely wise. It's his advice that helps Dorothy and company, and that's pretty magical. I, your wizard, Parajua at Alta, am about to embark upon a hazardous and technically unexplainable journey into the outer stratosphere. Number five, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter franchise. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. 
He's the boy who lived, and we're glad he did. Harry is everyone's favorite orphan, and the only one who could stand against Voldemort and win. Neither one can live while the other one survives. It means one of us is going to have to kill the other in the end. While Harry's skills as a wizard aren't anything to write number four Privet Drive about, his abilities as a leader and a good friend make him a memorable movie magician. I think we agree. Potter's actions were heroic. The question is, why were they necessary? Plus, he's the most athletic wizard on our list, given his Quidditch talent. No matter what obstacles he faces, Harry always pulls through. Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry. I will be. Number four, Tim the Enchanter, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? On a list of magical men, he's definitely the most eccentric. With his thick Scottish accent and gruff demeanor, it's easy to forget Tim's as powerful as he is. But he's got no problem reminding us. You seek the Holy Grail! That is our quest. You know much that is hidden, though, Tim. Quite. One of Tim's best magical powers is his ability to blow anything up and produce fireballs, which is very useful as King Arthur and his men venture through the cave of Carbanog. His stylish ram's horn hat is pretty unforgettable, too. For death awaits you all with nasty, big, pointy teeth. What an eccentric performance. Number three, Merlin Excalibur. I am Merlin. Though he's already appeared earlier in this countdown, this characterization of Merlin is completely different from the other film's version. This time he's more complex as a leader of all things otherworldly. Merlin is fearless as he tames dragons and beasts alike. Ah! I dreamt of the dragon. I have awoken him. Can't you see all around you the dragon's breath? This depiction is more cunning than the children's version, and his duels with Nemesis Morgana prove he's not one to be messed with. This version of Merlin is slightly terrifying, but we mean that in the best way. Good and evil, there never is one without the other. Where hides evil then in my kingdom? Always where you never expect it. Always. Number two, Albus Dumbledore, the Harry Potter franchise. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. As a wizard, he's pretty powerful. In fact, he's the only wizard Lord Voldemort has ever feared. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. As long as Dumbledore's around, you can't be touched. But the beauty of Albus Dumbledore is that he rarely uses his powers, especially not to benefit himself. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. He's a great wizard, but he's an even better teacher. He gives the best advice and often uses random anecdotes to lead students to the right answers. As Harry's mentor, Dumbledore makes the boy consider both good and evil. We must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. And let's not forget his beard. It may be the best on our list. You may not like him, Minister, but you can't deny Dumbledore's got style. Before our top pick casts his spell on us, here are a few honorable mentions. What? What? Are you the Miracle Max who worked for the King all those years? The king's thinking son fired me, and thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! I actually saw him change lead into gold. 
I could never do that. Mm, too bad. You'd have stood to inherit some real wealth. Magister, please don't talk like that. You're not going to die. Oh, but I look forward to it. All this magic, what has it accomplished? Number one, Gandalf, the Lord of the Rings franchise. Uh -huh. You're late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. We lied. Gandalf definitely has the best beard. Not only is he a great literary character, but Gandalf's on-screen depiction is one of the most iconic as well. Originally known as Gandalf the Grey, kind of an average wizard, he returns after his tangle with the Balrog as Gandalf the White, a more powerful version of himself. Gandalf. Gandalf. Yes. That was what they used to call me. Gandalf is everything a wizard should be, wise, fair, and compassionate. Death is just another path, one that we always take. He's the best of allies and a formidable fighter as well. You shall not pass! Do you agree with our list? Which spellcasters top your list? For more spellbinding top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Hey,